Hello, I think we are... Oh, what's my screen doing? Hello, it's Melinda from... I'll move that out of the way so you've got something pretty to look at instead of black. I think I'm working, I think I'm working. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just going to go on my page on my phone and make sure we are working. Welcome, welcome if anyone is joining me for the first day of the Great International Craft Show, or Gix 11 as it's also noted as being called. If you are joining me in the live today, please pop in and say hi. Hi, Faye. How are you going? Just double checking that this is 100% working on my page. And then we'll get started. Sorry I ran a few minutes late. I just... Sure we are working. Oh, we are. We are working because I can hear myself. Sorry I ran a few minutes late, but oh, I don't know. My phone might stop ringing today. And it's sort of important people I have to talk to about next week. <laughs> I'm sick of phone calls. <laughs> so welcome, welcome, welcome. So today's little live or first live. I'm hoping to do a second one later on today with a bit of play and demonstrating, which I was going to tack on to this one, but oh, just not 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 organised. Spent too much time um, this morning. It is a beautiful day here in Bendigo. I was actually up bright and early outside my house walking the kilometre to the post office to send a fax, which I'd sent on Tuesday. It didn't get received. I sent yesterday and it got rejected because it was missing a couple of pieces of paper or a couple of notes on it. And I had to refax it today. So it is a beautiful day outside. I'm hoping I don't have to walk back to the post office tomorrow and refax it for the fourth time. Don't you love um, places that won't accept things via email? Oh. Um, so enough about my lovely day. I thought I'd show you the new products that I am releasing for this month. Now we do have some sales on our products as well. Let me click back to there because I can't remember what they are. Let me read off my computer screen. So probably for the next, well definitely for these four days till Sunday and then I probably won't have time to take the sales off before next week. So as long as the sales are showing on the website, they will be available. So it might be up for a week or so. Um, so we've got 25% off all our new Christmas embellishments that I'm going to walk you through and show you now. We've got 20% off our Christmas stencils. We've got 20% off a few other stencils I made that are non-Christmassy. We've got 20% off Alexa's Christmas napkins. And oh my God, there's some gorgeous ones in there. I just want to use every one of them. But that thing called time, I just can't find at the moment. We've got 20% off windows and doors in chipboard. I'm going to do some fun stuff, hopefully at the weekend, with windows and doors and Christmas. That's the plan anyway. And we've got 20% off page frames, Christmas and non-Christmas ones as well. So I'm planning to do a lot of stuff. It just depends on whether <laughs> my plans get interrupted. So if you're watching us on replay later in the day... Um, pop a note in to say replay so we can see how many people are watching later on but without further ado let's go through the products because that's what you're all here to see i've got my lovely tub here i'll just put off to the side i'm trying to watch comments and my screen facebook have changed the way we live stream so i can no longer see what i see on the screen and the comments sort of in the same spot facebook stops changing things i just get to know where it is so the first main um main design we've got out for Christmas is our baubles, fancy baubles. So they come in three sizes. So I've actually listed all the products, all the embellishments this time in the three different materials they are available in. So we've got them in chipboard, which is 1.8 millimeter chipboard or cardboard. So you can add lots of mixed media, you can paint them, you can ink them, you can spray on them, you can impede emboss them, you can do a lot of stuff. So we've got the large ones, the small ones, sorry, the medium ones and the small ones. So the large ones come in a pack of two, medium come in a pack of three, and the small come in a pack of four. So these would be even cool to decorate and hang on your Christmas trees as well. So we've got them in the chipboard and then some other embellishments we've got. I didn't get as many done as I'd like, just again, time is... Time is running away lately. We've got our mama deer and our baby deer, which are very cute. And I will be doing these in a smaller size. I'm just going to work out how I can do the antlers without them all falling off. Usually I have all these packaged up in beautiful packages to show you, but I've only got my samples at the moment. 
<laughs> and we've got Santa and a sleigh. I thought these would be cool for some of our card makers and we've made some really small ones and some bigger ones. So all these three basically designs, the baubles, the um, reindeer and the Santa and sleigh are available on the chipboard. Then they're available in black 200 GSM cardstock. So quite a thin material. So these ones you probably, um, well obviously you don't want to change the black colour, but they're great as silhouettes. So I will be using some of these products in a variety of ways over the next four days. So again, we've got all, I don't know whether I've got all, oh, I don't have all of them sitting here. I've, I've snaffled a few for my samples I'm making. But exactly the same we saw in the chipboard, we do have all in the black cutouts. So these are all listed on the website and it will say at the start of the listing whether it's chipboard, black cardstock or whether it's, excuse me, it's rushing down um, breakfast before, um, it's starting to repeat on me. Um, so it says if it's black cardstock or if it's chipboard and I've also done some in, okay I've got bunny hair on here, bunnies, they were trying to help before. Um, and we've also got them done in our mixed media cardstock. So this is a 400 GSM cardstock, so it's quite solid. So that means you can ink it, you can paint it, you can spray it, and it won't be as flimsy as the 200 GSM cardstock. So the white cutouts are great for card making, they're great for art journaling. I've used some of these in my art journal um, already, I've been playing. So we've got all the cutouts listed in the different types of material. So we've also got some Christmas stencils which are exciting. Let me get rid of all these and hopefully I don't upend them all on the floor. That would be about how my day is going lately. So these four days all the projects I do will be based around Christmas or have a Christmas theme, a Christmas um, sort of well, I suppose Christmas theme to them. Hang on, I need that bit of black paper back. I knew I needed that for a reason. Put this down here. Now, we do have some Christmas stencils. So we've got... It goes around the wrong way. And you have to... Bear with me, my stencil's a bit dirty because these are the ones I've been playing with. Um, so we've got our assorted trees. Whoops. Helps if I stay in frame. That would be a good idea. So we've got our assorted trees. So these are our 6 by 6 inch size stencil. We've also got a mini poinsettia flower or poinsettia flower that looks like that. That's really, really cool. And this one's a repeating pattern. So you can ink up here, and if you've got a larger area than 6x6, six six, you can line these edge ones up with these half ones with the flowers and keep going, which is really cool. Then we have this one, which is a double stencil set. Whoops. So this one comes with the masks as well. I've just got them in a plastic bag because I lose little things. So this one is a two stencil set, so you get the stencil and the mask set, and then you get the decorative set as well, and I'll be playing with these in one of the lives. I'll be live at 11 o'clock every day, so what's tomorrow? Friday, so I don't even know what day of the week it is. Um, so you get these three pieces as well. So I'll be doing a live demonstration at 11 o'clock on Friday, on Saturday, and Sunday. I'm planning to jump on and do another one, like do a second demonstration, but... It just depends on, I can't, I just don't have a time for those at the moment. So if I jump on, I jump on. If I can give you some notice, I will. That's just how my life's panning out at the moment. I plan things and then things all fall in a heap. So this is really fun to play with. Then we have another mask and stencil set. Just trying to see if I can, I don't know whether I have the little masks. Nope, they run away. But you do get the four little deers with this one. I don't know where I put my set, but... That's nothing new in my life. I misplace things all the time. They're obviously sitting around somewhere. And the mask and the stencils are really fun to play with. And you can do a lot with them. So that's the end of the Christmas uh, things. Uh, stencils, chipboard and embellishments. I will show you what Alexis is releasing. Alexis is my 13 year old daughter and she's releasing paper napkins. She sells paper napkins on my website because she decided uh, about 12 months ago when we started doing gigs or a bit over 12 months ago that mother had too many packets of napkins because I have a bit of an addiction and I can't stop buying them so she decided that she'll sell them on the website and that's her pocket money she learnt, was learning about business in school so she um, helps load them, she helps pick orders um, she goes through and works out her profit which she worked out very quickly 
So I love to use napkins in card making. I love to use paper napkins in art journaling. They're so versatile. They're basically like pattern. If think of them as pattern paper. Sometimes you just have to treat your pattern paper a little differently because this is a thin, almost like a tissue paper paper. So I have used, um, and I'll show you a bit later on. I'm in the Geeks classroom this afternoon, which is free for the four days, which is absolutely fantastic. And I'll pop a link up closer to 430 on how you access the classroom. I know how I access it, but I go in the back door and you guys are going to go in the front door of the classroom. So I'll work that out for you and I'll pop up a link to the classroom. It's also through the um, Craft Alive website. And at 4.30 this afternoon, I have a art journal page using some of the paper napkins in two different ways, some of my stencils and some of the cutouts. So that will be fun and I'll be there. It's a pre-recorded, all my classes are pre-recorded art, um, art video. And then I'm there in the chat or in the comments to um, answer any of your questions and things like that. The reason I like to do my videos is pre-recorded because art journaling, you sometimes have lots of drying time and you have lots of sort of have to um, dry stuff off and it's just easier to pre-record a video than do a live. Um, and the videos will be available on YouTube to view after these four days. I'll release them straight away because it is free for the weekend for you to access all those classes. And speaking of the classes, just before I show the napkins, if you are interested in any of the products that I Using the classes, there's a special tab on the website that says Gix um, products for classes. I think it says it says Gix 11 at the start of it. And all the products I use in the Pacific classes in the classroom will be also linked in that little folder, so they're easy to find. Clear as mud, right? Okay, let's flip through the napkins. There are some gorgeous ones in here, and I can't wait to crack on and use a lot of these. So we've got cute little birdie. So when you purchase napkins from Alexis, you get a pack of two. And then, for example, most napkins have four panels of images. So you're getting eight images for like 75 cents or something, and they're even on sale, so they're even cheaper. So they're a great way to get images to use on your cards and in your art journal because you get multiple images. So we've got that gorgeous one. I love the sloth. I can't wait to use the sloth. That's what I feel like today. I just want to curl up in a tree and <laughs> not deal with the world after the week I've had. <laughs> Then this is gorgeous. This is an old tin car or old tin ute with a Christmas tree and a dog and who's driving? No, the baubles are driving. I can't see who's driving. We've got the dog in there. So it's great just to fussy cut out part of it or you can use the words. You can use it as a full panel. So over the next four days, I'll be showing you all sorts of different ways. This one's got, looks like a kangaroo or is it a reindeer? Oh, maybe it's a reindeer and Santa in a combi van. I thought this one was just gorgeous. We've got a llama for Christmas. Alexis picks some awesome stuff when she's out napkin shopping. She sort of says, Mom, we don't have this one. And then I have to pinch a couple from the pack before she's allowed to sell them. Them's the rules. So we've got this one. Now we do have a this same style of napkin with animals with party hats on the website. Now we've got three different designs of this. So I love the elephant and I love the tiger. Love all those different um, images. And this, some of the napkins you actually get the images um reversed so we try to show that in the photo so for example down here wouldn't this be gorgeous across the bottom of an art journal page see how the animals are reversed or you could sort of fussy cut the animals out and have the zebra sort of touching each other or he's nice like this so you've got lots of different options with the napkins they are fun fun to play with and nice and affordable too we've got a reindeer with a santa hat on it so I've got everything from sort of traditional to more folk arty to more cartoony. This one's really cute. This one's good to fussy cut out the little things and use them as embellishments. So you don't have to use the napkin as a whole. You can just fussy cut out bits that you want. These borders are great to use as well. We've got this one is Aussie themed, which is cute. Well, sloths aren't Aussie, but I love the sloth. Um, koala and llama and kangaroo and alligator. They are really cute. This one's cute too. <clears throat> so we've got some soldiers so a big variety and mix something to suit everyone this one's got lots of little icons on it which is cute again to use individually or cut out some more deers oh we've got two of those so this one's cute as a background so some of them were more coming into background ones so this one's nice this one could even be non christmasy as well oh we've got two of those maybe i grabbed the wrong pile and we've got some of them in a small and large version as well we've got santa 
He's cute. Might have to use him on a project. I was trying to decide which ones to use last night and did I grab the wrong pile? Oh no, that one's in there. I'm just looking for the other one I have used. Because I have used a couple of these, so I'll have to get to it. So we've got more Santas. Got little point setters. This one comes in a bigger one as well. I've obviously been rummaging through my pile and they're out of order. But that's okay. This one comes bigger as well, slightly bigger. So these are the little cocktail ones. This one comes in two sizes. This one's cute with the elf and the penguin and the um, polar bear. Got some beautiful birds this time as well. So it's a beautiful red cardinal and a brownie bird. So great for backgrounds, great for focal images. Um, that one's really cute with the reindeers, some more poinsettias. So she's actually chosen a huge bunch. I had to stop her and say, no more, Alexis. I think we've got enough. It's a bit hard to stop. Um, so we've got some more birds. So again, you could cut out these birds and use them for non-Christmas as well. So I like this one with the pine trees. I like some of the more backgroundy ones because they're great in the art journal. This one's cute with the watercolour-y ferns. We've got this one with the wreath and the Merry Christmas. This one I have used, oh, I did grab the wrong pile. Where's the other one? Oh, I'll show you my art journal in a minute. It's got the image in it. So this one I've used in the class this afternoon for the classroom. This one's cute. This one I'm going to cut out these wreaths hopefully and use on a project. And this one is a bit of a special one because on one panel you get some foiling, which is really nice as well. So you get foiling on one panel and then you get the repeated designs without foiling on the other three panels. So that is all the Christmas designs that we have. And I've also got some new stencils releasing that aren't Christmassy. So I will grab those. I'm just keeping an eye on my phone because I'm expecting a call, um, a rather important call. Hopefully it doesn't come through while I'm on doing a live. So we've got this one which is one of our four by eight stencils, I believe this size is. So this one's really cool. So all these stencils are on sale and are on the website at the moment. And then I have got another triangly one. I sort of found a lot of cool images and couldn't decide and didn't want to wait to release these ones because they're lots of fun. Um, so I've got this one. And I'll be playing with some of these. So these can be incorporated into your Christmas as well. This big, gorgeous stained glass one. This one is really cute as well. Then I got a bit dotty mad. I sort of started and couldn't stop with these ones. So we've got sort of dotty circles. We've got swirly dots. I think I'm a bit dotty mad lately. We've got exploding dots. I think I called this one. I have no idea what I called them. I was loading these late, late last night. Ring of Dots, which is really cool. Be good to mask off this and just do sort of one or two rings, which would be really cool. We've got gradient dots fading. And then we've got little and small dots. And then because our silhouette stencils for women were really popular, I've had requests to do men. Can't leave the men out. Now, I just have to quickly find which ones go with which ones. So, we've just had a release of women's heads a little while ago. Hang on, I'm just trying to grab... No, that's not that one. I've just thrown all these in together. So, our silhouette stencils come in two sizes. They come in three by... No, that's four by six. And you also get the corresponding heads. That is that one and this is this one. So these are sort of our male versions. So we've got sort of a profile face and this one. So this could be a young boy or it could be an older man as well. This would be fun to do like um, across a page as a border, just keep repeating it. So then we've also made, I'm going to put these back in my Ziploc bag because otherwise I lose all little bits. And then we have the same style of stencil made into 4 by 8 I believe this size is. And then you get loving your dots. Oh, thanks, Kerry. I feel like I'm going dotty mad lately. Um, so we've got the bigger stencils for the guys as well. Not that I use a lot of guy images in my art journal pages, but I thought as we got requested for it, let's do some. And then we've got this one as well. It's really hard to find guy silhouettes that still look like men, like, and didn't... Um, yeah, it was really hard choosing images. So we've got this one with his sort of hands in his pocket, so he's got a bit of attitude, and then we've sort of got this one as well. Um, so again, you get the 
the masks and the stencil in that size and then you get the mini one as well so if you end up buying the two size stencils you don't actually double up so let me line these up on here so you can actually get the two sets of stencils and <coughs> excuse me you can actually line up your men across your page which looks really cool so I deliberately do that when I make the stencil men I make sure this size and then this size um, are not the same size between the two different size stencils obviously the stencil is bigger um, but if I ran example this way I want you to get more out of them if that makes sense words are not my friend today I'm extremely tired today um, so I'm hoping to use some of these um, over the next four days as well. I have lots of plans, but lately when I plan things, I swear someone looks in my diary lately and goes, oh, she's got an appointment that day. Let's ring her or write her a letter and say she's now got a doctor's appointment that day or she's got something else. And being in two places is hard. And there's nothing in my diary for the week before or the week after, but they choose that particular day. That's just... I don't know it's just me lately it's just it happens with everything um so that's basically all the new stuff that we've got released so this is all up on the website and ready for purchase but in saying that um orders may be delayed for unfortunately about 10 days um next week i do have to um well it's planned that i go to melbourne with my daughter for four days um and it's a medical uh family commitment hopefully it doesn't get cancelled for the third time um so we will be down there for the bulk of next week i'm going to try my hardest to get any orders that are placed thursday friday saturday sunday in the mail before we leave on monday afternoon um it just depends i don't have a lot of this christmas stuff cut so if i get a huge influx of orders i'll try my darndest to get them in the mail but just bearing in mind that if you place an order Basically, I put on the website, if you place an order after today, just to give myself a few days leeway, it may not be posted until the 27th of September. But I'll put in a couple of surprises if I delay your package. I may be able to get packages out before I go on Monday, before we go down to Melbourne. Don't really want to go to Melbourne, but we sort of have to. Um, hi, Karen. How are you going? So I will be just shooting... About, um, oh, shooting. Okay, bad word. I will be emailing everyone that places an order if I can't get your order out. Um, and it depends how much I have to cut for your order as well. I do have a supply of basically everything that has a code number on it in the title, except for the new Christmas stuff, is cut and ready to go. Anything without a code number on it is like cut to order. So it depends how much I have to cut to order for your um, orders as well. I'm planning on cutting a small selection of the Christmas stuff to have it ready um, to poach out. So I do apologise if your parcels are delayed, but unfortunately there's not much I can do about it. We have been summoned to Melbourne for this medical thing and it just happened to uh, arrive a couple of days after my virtual show. But I will make it up to you and I will put a few surprises in your package if it's delayed. If you've ordered from me before, you know you get your surprises anyway. Hmm. I think that's about it from me. I'm going to try to pop back on this afternoon and do a little live demo with something. I've got an idea twirling around in my head. Um, I was going to do it straight after showing you the products, but I just, I'm not organised. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm not organised enough. Um, so hopefully early this afternoon I can pop back on and do that with you. Um, at 4.30 I will be in the classroom. Oh, that's what I could show you. I can show you the art journal page I'm going to do this afternoon. I was going to do that anyway. I need to start writing a list of the things I need to talk about because I've got a head like a sieve lately. Okay. So at 4.30 this afternoon and every day for the next four days in the Gix classroom, I'll put a link how to find the classroom um, closer to 4 o'clock when I find out how I um, how you go in the front door because I go in the back door of it. Um, and this is the art journal page we'll be creating in the class today. So if you're interested in any of these products, this girl is actually from a paper napkin that I must have grabbed the... Um, pack that I'd already used some stuff from to flip through because she wasn't in there and I've used the paper trees and I've also used some of my baubles as well so this is the art journal page we're going to do in the classroom tomorrow there is cards there is another art journal page and I believe on Sunday there will be a, a an attempt at a Christmas scrapbook page 
no, there will be a, a Christmas scrapbook page. Um, so that's something to look forward to every day. And that classroom for the next four days is actually free to access. Usually it's a $20 a month subscription service through Craft Alive, but they have given you all free access to it. So that is very exciting. If you can't make the 4.30 class today, I will be releasing the videos for those classes on YouTube and I'll link them to the Facebook page um, over the weekend as well so you can re-watch re the classes. If anyone doesn't have any questions, I think I might run off and plan this live that I'm going to do this afternoon. And my good friend from Hillbilly Scrapping, Jen, is uh, doing lives at 2 o'clock every day. So definitely jump on to Hillbilly Scrapping and see what she is up to. I will be doing that as well. So I'm not doing my live at 2 o'clock. I can tell you that's one of the times I'm not doing it. And I won't be doing it at 4.30. So sometime in between there. Nah, sometime in between there. Um, I will be popping back on today and doing a live. So 11 o'clock every day I will be on this Facebook page doing a demonstration for the next three days. And I'm hoping to get a second one in. I just can't commit to a time at the moment because... <laughs> As soon as I make plans, they change. That's life lately. So thank you very much for um, coming on and having a look at our new products. If you got any questions or different, um, got any questions, pop them in the comments um, or how Gix works if you're not new to it. It's basically an online show. There's lots of exhibitors to go check out. So if you go to the Craft Alive website, you can have a look at what they call the Exhibitor Hall which is basically a pay, you click on each of the exhibitors' names and a page pops up with their specials and their things. And lots of exhibitors are doing lives over the four days. So check them all out or go and check them out afterwards because all the lives will be recorded and you can go check them out. So I think that's about it for me rambling on and I promise I'll be back doing a project sometime today. <laughs> so I will leave it with you. Bye for now.